Hi everyone, I'm Jonathan Bornman. I'm a missionary with Eastern Mennonite Missions and uh, supported by Mount Joy Mennonite Church since 2013. I'm excited to share with you a brief update today and uh, just let you know how things are going. Uh, it's amazing how long it's been since we've all met together. I miss you. And I do want to tell you a huge thank you for your ongoing financial support and uh, the encouragement that many of you give me. So many things have changed, and yet our Christian Muslim Relations team is getting on with our task of equipping Christians everywhere in the world for the life-giving relationship that Jesus would like us to have with our Muslim neighbors. We work at equipping Christians to participate in dialogue, hospitality, peacemaking, and witness. Even though all of our normal engagements have been canceled, and uh, the ways we've done things have changed, one thing remains the same. We're going to keep on doing this mission that God has called us to. And uh, over the last five years, we've been working at building a resilient relational network of peacemakers involved in the ministry of Jesus, and it's getting real results. Uh, this network is called Peacemakers Confessing Christ International. We have partners in Europe, West Africa, East Africa, Central America, and Indonesia. And because we've built this relationship over a number of years, uh, now that things have shifted in the way people work all over the world, we have this very active partnership and uh, the work and people we've trained to do the work, people we are sharing this ministry with, uh, are all able to pursue it in their own context, in their own way at this time. And we praise God for uh, leading us in this direction over the last few years. COVID-19 may have shut down uh, all our normal pathways of working, and yet in the middle of it, new things are being birthed. Uh, first and foremost, for our local Christian Muslim Relations team, even though we all live in Lancaster, we haven't seen each other since this uh, pandemic started. Uh, but the new thing that's birthed is a regular weekly prayer meeting every Thursday morning from 7.30 to 8.30. Uh, we've always had intentions of doing something like that, uh, but doing it virtually has meant uh, it's very easy for us to do, and uh, it's really thrived for us. In a similar way, um, our network and our connection with Peacemakers Confessing Christ International has been upgraded because we built a WhatsApp uh, uh, communication network so that uh, all the partners get a quick update from each other, share prayer requests, um, ask for information and help, and uh, it's very active and uh, Somehow the isolation of this pandemic globally has pushed people into these kind of platforms and it's actually um, healthy. Um, and Andres, one of my teammates, has recently started an online training course with a group in South America. Another thing that's happening in the middle of this time is we have one college student who's an intern and uh, she's been... Uh, helping us create a Sunday School lesson plan to use with the videos on our pcci.team webpage. It's ready for testing in Sunday Schools and uh, small groups. Talk to me if you're interested. My PhD study moves ahead. Uh, no travel means a lot more time for writing. Virtually all my chapters are written and I'm in the stage of uh, revising and um, working with my supervisors towards a first full draft. Um, if you want to communicate with me, uh, reach out to me by email, jonathanborman at gmail.com. Uh, if you're interested in supporting me as an individual, uh, go to emm.org slash donate. Also, a huge thanks to Mount Joy Mennonite for including me in the budget. And um, I look forward to connecting with you in person soon. Until then, God bless you, and I uh, hope you have a great day.